We're seeing much more of that steady rainfall across the entire region, much more preferred over those dumps of rain we've seen during the summer. Now, the steady all-day rain finally taking a break right now as we lock ourselves in those 50s. But by tonight, as we get closer to those dew points, we could see more rain kick off. Now, we're expected to see about another quarter of an inch. And by Friday, another full inch that whole day before it finally pushes out and things sort to clear up. In fact, we're watching the temperature change over the last 24 hours, going from those 60s yesterday down to those 50s. And that's where we're staying. Quite the different story as we continue to see us not touching down near those freezing temperatures, but by this weekend, they could return. Now, that strong southerly flow still keeping us warm. In fact, we're looking at those 50s across the entire region, only a couple degrees apart. And when we look outside across the entire Concho Valley, that's exactly what we're seeing, just those lovely 50s across the entire area. Now, we're only going to drop down a couple more degrees down into those 40s tonight, but when we're looking at that saturation point, everybody, we're only hanging out there in those dew points around those 50s and those 40s. Now, of course, areas like Ozona continuing to sit at 100% saturation. So as we make our way down towards these upper 40s for dew points, we're going to start seeing where those pockets of rain showers are going to kick off, but it's going to be pretty light in nature, including throughout the rest of this week. Now, we're going to continue to see that southerly flow push up a lot of this moisture into the Concho Valley, and then finally it's going to push its way off to the east by this weekend. Now, that's going to shape up for some pretty intense rain, but of course, we could see some better temperatures on the uh, back side of that. Now, the severe weather outlook really just targeting us here in the Concho Valley and areas across the Panhandle along with New Mexico. Now, they're dealing with a lot of snow, so that cold air is definitely still here, but it warms up if it starts to make its way down the Edwards Plateau. This cutoff low still giving us a lot of trouble as we continue to see it slowly make its way over the Panhandle and towards the Concho Valley. Now, this is by Friday afternoon. Again, we're expected to see that cold front really start to push through. And when we look at the radar, we can see where that storm is going to make its way down from Colorado, start to form as it makes its way towards Kansas. And that's where that cold front's really going to push through. In fact, you can still see some of those lower clouds hanging out across the entire region. So once those high level clouds make its way over with that colder temperature, that's where those pockets of rain are going to start to develop. Now, we have the radar cranked all the way up. As you can still see, it's hanging out there near Abilene, but of course, they're popping up all across the entire Concho Valley. Of course, we're watching it out to the west as we can see some more of these rain showers push in throughout tonight. Again, getting closer to those dew points. Now, we're going to see where it's going to be spotty in nature. Again, all day Thursday, it's going to be on and off across the entire region, and then it's finally going to start to die out. But Friday, that storm really rips through, and then right behind it by Friday night, clearing out. In fact, seeing so much cloud cover tonight, there was a good opportunity for a meteor shower for the winter, but we're going to see too much cloud cover as a result, so you're not going to be able to enjoy it. But what you will be able to enjoy is some of those warmer temperatures overnight, not feeling nearly as cold as those 40s, but it is going to get down there tonight with that light rain. Few, few breezes, few colder temperatures than tomorrow, only up again a couple of degrees as we continue to see some of that rain shower activity really last with us. Maybe some more breezy conditions. Now that's really going to start to wrap up as we start to see that stronger storm push through by Friday. Once it makes its way through, we'll see those post-frontal conditions really clearing up and we're back up into the 60s and that locks us in there as Christmas is now only 12 days out and it's going to get warmer and warmer as we start to deal with some of those colder temperatures getting back down near those freezing points. We'll take a closer look later. You're watching KSAN News at 5.